So I was talking to a lady in Leicestershire last week who is a family photographer, but she doesn't have children of her own. And it occurred to me that there may be plenty of people out there, including us poor parents, who, when we point a camera at our children, immediately go like this. You with me? You know where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. You cannot take pictures of your own children. It's so hard. The reason I can generally get children to cooperate is, firstly, I've got I've got three really really good tips to distract children to get the best out of them. But also, I'm a stranger to them, and generally, they'll do what I want for about an hour, and then they start taking the piss because they know I'm just going to play with them. So I'm going to talk you through my three great tips to, to help you take better shots of your children because um, we all need to know these things honestly you just can't point a camera at a child and get a good shot it's almost impossible okay my first tip first tip is be silly they love it they love being silly and if you catch them off guard and do stupid things then they have to just react they can't help my my f go to one if i'm in somebody's house is Generally, I'm going to be near a window anyway, because that's where the really nice light is. But if you point out the window in the tree, go, oh, it's a dinosaur. That's it. And we're talking about young children here. No, don't do this with teenagers. It's not going to work. But three or four year old and you say there's a dinosaur in the tree and they'll be like, don't be silly. And then they love it. They think it's very, very funny. OK, another good distraction on that front in the uh, if you tell them that they can see something. A child with a good imagination generally will try and oblige. They'll go, oh yes, I can, I can see something. So if you tell them there's a, there's a fairy, or um, the lady last week was using the, the butterfly in the lens. So get them to look in the lens and say, when I press this button, you'll be able to see a little fairy. Tell me what color it is. And then they have to concentrate and they have to look at the camera. It's priceless. And if they've got really good imagination, they generally will, will come up with something. They'll say, oh, it's a yellow one. <laughs> yes, well done. Brilliant. And they just play the game. They use their imagination to work for you. Okay, so those, those are two really good silly ones. The next one, countdowns. Invaluable. So when you've got anything that you want to do with them, give them a countdown because you know that when you get to that point, they'll do something stupid or silly and it won't look as good. Now, the, the, the things that I generally do a countdown for are jumping, balloons, letting go of a balloon so it goes whizz around the room um, and spinning. Anything sort of silly that, that you have to wait for it. It's the waiting, and you can usually get a great shot when you're doing the countdown. So you have to be able to sort of, you know, take the picture as you're doing three, two, what? And, and they've got that sort of excited look on their face because they're waiting to do this silly thing. So that's a good one. Countdowns are invaluable, and it always gets them to stand still because they're going to be good for three seconds. They can, they can manage that. And my last amazing tip is reverse psychology. Any parent out there knows full well that if you tell somebody to do something, especially a child, they're in invariably going to say, yeah, I can do that. So you play with that. Go the opposite. What I'd get them to do is, if there's two, especially if there's, there's um, siblings, look at each other. Don't smile. Don't you smile. Don't you giggle. Don't you do that. Really, they can't help themselves. I mean, some of them are more serious than others. The girls are better at keeping straight faces than others. So you have to really egg them on, going, "Don't you dare! Don't you dare! You, you're so you rubbish at this!" And even just on their own. So you know, when they're looking at the camera, right? You've got to look really serious at the camera. Don't smile. Don't you smile? It works. It works every single time. It works with adults. So try it. So there you go, they're my three amazing tips. You can take good photographs of your children. They won't be taking silly faces and you'll get great shots. So share them with me if you get any good ones. Bye bye for now.